Right, Chris Ezra, you just beat another Paul Edwards to win the British flyweight title. Tell us about the fight from your perspective. Um, I knew it was, it's in us how, how, how I um, accepted it, expected it to be. I mean, he started off pretty sharp, same as me. Um, I knew the first few rounds were going to be a bit close than that, um, which, which the way. Um, but after about halfway, I, I mean, the fitness was fantastic. You know, I do 12 rounds all the time, standing on the yard. Um, and I, I think after about halfway, I caught him with a couple of body shots. Um, he, he says it didn't bother him, but I, I knew he hit him with a couple because he was sort of like going halfway down a couple of times. I was like, are you going or not? But um, he grit his teeth and I came on stronger in the later rounds. And I think that's what Cindy Sabin gave me a bit of a startle again. It was a thrilling fight. Was it the toughest fight of your career? I won't say it's toughest. I won't say it was my toughest fight. I've, I've had a lot. A lot more tough ones from, from the beginning, from Dale Robson. I mean, that was a really, really tough fight. Um, so, okay. How's it? How's it feel to be British champion again? Yeah, it feels good. I mean, it's me fourth time now British champion, two different weights. Come off champion three times. I can't complain. I mean, I'm done fantastic in my career so far, and um, I won't win, win this out right, and perhaps maybe get a shot at the European. Who knows? So. People seem, seem, they seem to have you done as the underdog in the fight, um, even though you were far more experienced and far more proven. Mm -hmm. Did that make you even more determined to kind of win it? Yeah, I, I knew I was going to be underdog. I think always own in, in my title fights. But I think when they get in there, I didn't realise how fit and how strong I am and how tough I am when I'm in there, when they end with me. Um, so yeah, I think I'm always, I'm, always in the, I'm always the underdog. I think I my mean, next one, if it turns out to be Shinny again, I think this way I'll be underdog again. But, I'll put you up here from Mongolia next time. You're 35 now. How, how long do you want to go on for? Um, another 10, Chris. Another, yeah, another 10 years. <laughs> okay, there's some big names in the flow at division. Shinny Bayar, as you just mentioned. Yeah. Ashley Sexton. Yeah. Who do you fancy next? I, th I think. Well, I think at the moment, I think the board have already sanctioned Shinny Bayar, so. Which I, I think he, perhaps he, he does deserve a rematch. Um, I mean, he. he Stupid is, is fighting in the last one round, so I wouldn't mind fighting Miguel. Um, I mean, I, I lost to him last time, a split decision. So I think I want revenge and when we get the title again with him. Great fight tonight, Chris. Great performance. Well done. Thank you very much.